Are you tired of the same old sports media? Are you tired of hot takes, arguments, and questions that are just completely off base? Luckily, we have something for you. Touchdowns and tangents of the people, for the people, by people who care about the culture and all its concise commentary. What's up, good people? Live from Hawthorne, California. Touchdowns and Tangents is all back together in person. I'm P.T. Camarillo. I'm Kenneth Barry. She is. Thank you. Hi, Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Worst intro ever. But yeah, we are your Thursday you night spot. You always introduce me, and then I say howdy. <laughs> For Annabelle Takes. Producer Nikki. Howdy. See, there you go. Just talk a little bit. Yeah, concise commentary for the Gulger. Touchdownsandtangents.com, TDs underscore tangents on Twitter and Instagram. I need you to enunciate better because somebody would probably hear that and assume you said titties. You've you just been you literally just, thinking now, about now titties you all week. Titties, so. You've I mean, literally just been thinking about you, titties that's, all week. That's neither here nor there, but you do slur your words sometimes. You slur know, your like words. Slur is the right word. I think I mumble. No, you slur mumble. your words sometimes. I don't. I don't. You will fu- you will like play you will juggle your words. Yeah. Ch- sure. Yeah. You juggle words as you try to say them. Before you try to get on my head. No, I wasn't. I was just making an observation. It's cuz I've been snitching on your ass to everyone all fucking week. Not really. You just you just tell information that people about we already know. So like that's why that's why you look like a snitch and a bitch because it's like my mom already knew that. Now if I start snitching on nah, you, but she laughed when I when I called you out. She was like, "I know, I've been saying the same thing." And I was like, "Yeah." Damn, not even your mom got your back. Nah, his mom went no. down like three the list of like three different things. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm telling Kenny that all the time." And she tells me like, everything all. He thinks he tells me everything all the time. That's like, and then that's when he was like, "This is why I can't kick you with more than one tour." A day. Hey, what the fuck? Honestly, like... Guess I'll leave. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, he can go to the gym or some shit. He can go sneak out and get rallies late at night. I don't know. That's fucked up. Chili cheese fries. Don't, we act like, don't act like you don't eat in the car and then throw it away and come back inside, <laughs> bitch. I did that like twice. I did that like twice, too. That's the like, we know the sound your car makes when you when come you, through the gate. You know you, that, right? When you have a kid, you'll understand. It sounds like a scion. I, say that. I, I know that I'm going to be doing that when I have a kid. I'll do that to my nephew. I'll eat some shit that I, that I really I'm want before he gets around. You. Last week, I was coming from far, and I bought, and I stopped like halfway, and I got food, and I got food for my brother. And then ate half of it, and then <laughs> gave him the rest? I that shit. <laughs> <laughs> when I stopped at McDonald's, I got him something else. You're like, a punk, bitch. <laughs> he probably went somewhere <laughs> good, too. He went to Top Tender and ate 40 tenders by himself. I've 20 tenders t- by himself. I've never taken down two in and out burgers, but it's in the car. I was this just man is lying. The whole time. This man played high school football. And you're I, never, I never have. You, I was never right. that. Oh, let me get a six by six guy. Like, bro, you don't Just because you didn't go there, just because you didn't eat a lot of in and out, you had a favorite restaurant in high school that you picked out on. It was B Dubs back when they actually had 50 cent wings. And what did you, how many times did you crash out on wings? A lot, man. There okay, were times then. where I had to... You don't know what I had to do to get wings, bro. I don't want to know, actually. I had to raid people's quarter jars, change, cup holders. Oh, so that's like, why... I pulled up in a bubble of wild wings with a full, like, $20 and change ones. Now I'm going to hide my cup holder with... <laughs> that's all I had. $15 yeah. in quarters, you bitch. You she broke like, bitch. let me trade it out for you. And I was like, okay, thank you. Don't do that shit at the strip club, though. Of course not. All right, so anyways, uh, we're going to keep this week tight since it wasn't a heavy news week since it's kind of the off season right now. But um, Thank God. Rumors are flying up. Combines getting set up. Pro days are getting set up. So there will be shit to talk about over the next few weeks. But And if you haven't already, you should definitely listen to our Senior Bowl week interviews. Yep, finally. Get yourself prepared for the Combine. Let's, like talk Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Fuck, the Combine's in 10 days? Yeah. Free agency's the... The 11th. Of March? 
Yeah. So in two weeks? Creating a frenzy, yeah. So uh, maybe so maybe, just maybe, you know, you don't just post all your content at once. Sometimes you just hold a little or some of it. Nah, that's actually defeats the purpose of news. Yeah, you're like ninety five percent right. News one oh one, Kenny. You're like ninety five. I'm not gonna mansplain news to you. You have a journalism you, degree. Sir. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't. You, you definitely have a journalism shouldn't degree. explain journalism to me since I'm actually in it and you're in PR. I guess. That's why I'm I got more journalistic piece published than you do. <sighs> but to, does it matter? Yeah, Since it you does. don't get paid to be a journalist? I did. I've got more money as a journalist than you. Uh, I mean, under the table, probably. No, as a freelance writer. I pay my fucking... I'm self-employed. I'm a self-employed journalist. Been a self-employed journalist for, what, 10 years now? Are we calling it 10 years? Yeah, I'm on the books. I pay my taxes. I pay my taxes, I've too. I've been getting paid as a journalist for 10 years, sir. So don't I ever fucking we're question gonna, my gonna credentials have to audit you. ever again. Not Go question your credentials. Go I'm ahead. saying, like, we're going to have to audit you real Go. quick. Go ahead. Audit my shit, bro. It was nationally syndicated. Wait, nationally syndicated? I was internationally syndicated. I'm sorry. Wait, the podcast is internationally syndicated. I mean, technically, but I was actually on like random fucking newspapers in Iowa and Colorado and he said, I fucking said fucking Norway. International. And Norway. Did you just jump from Iowa to Norway? Yeah, bro. I was. I, I had That's my, wild. I have my columns in a lot of weird fucking places. You got a Swedish bank account with $37 in it, don't you? Oh, I was getting paid in can- Canadian bread. You fucking. One point. Yeah, now you, well, now you just snitched and on I yourself. I was getting paid in euros in another point. Now they're going to come get you. I don't know why you're saying this information. <laughs> I paid taxes on it. I wouldn't even mention and it. In exchange. The only people who get audited are poor exchange. people. The only people who get audited are people who actually make under 150000 Everybody else who makes above that, they just get to skate off Scott fucking free. Everybody else gets audited well, unnecessarily. Settle. Yeah, which means settling is like, you're not guilty, but we're just going to fuck with you anyway. All right. So, yeah, moving on. That went to a weird place. Yeah, you started it. I wasn't even, like, I'm trashing you. journalist. You're not. That's literally what you said. How is that no, not No, that's how you me? took it. That's not, how is that not That's definitely how you me? took it. How is that not trash? That's like what happened earlier in the week when you were like, when I was like, oh, yeah, the Big 12 Media Day I is going to be in Vegas this year. And you're like, you're going? And I was like, what the fuck you mean, am I going? Of course I'm going. You're not going to just assume you're going. You're a grown-ass man. You I don't know if you Vegas fucking work. I don't 12. know if you have fucking money. I don't know if you have a ride. I don't know if you have transportation or a fucking place to stay. I don't know. There's I'm a lot Kenneth of shit. Frank James Barry. I always find a way. Uh, I'm literally I'm the black MacGyver. I'm not going to fucking just assume and throw that on you. I mean, if Jeez. it was like, yeah, Big 12 Media Days in Vegas this year. If Oklahoma was in the conference, I'd like. Make sure you got a spot, but fucking SEC, and I'm not going all the way to to that part of, of SEC country this year. You want to go to Sundown Land? I'm good. All right, so I think anyways. it's in Tennessee though. Oh. I think it's Gaylord something. I Quick shit, we gotta talk Gaylord. about Ooh, the All Star Weekend was fucking trash again, per usual. Like our previous conversation was better than the All Star Weekend. And we probably would have had better commentary, too. It's just crazy. I was watching it at my friend's barbecue, and it's just crazy. Like, Dame Lillard won the three-point contest, and then they just totally upstaged him with this Sabrina versus Steph thing. I mean, it was cool because Sabrina scored just as much as everyone else in the finals, so that was, like, cool little moment. I would say what it just like. But, like, bro, the winner should have played Dame. Like, Steph and Dame should have had a shootout right That's- then. I mean, that's too much. We well, know Steph, Steph well, is beating is, Dame. Steph could have competed, but well, he, he chose, chose not, not to. to. Exactly, yeah. So that's why it's like, but it's like Dame won the title for the second year in a row. Even and that wasn't even Steph's... the story. And then he won it, the MVP, just because he was the only one carrying. But they're saying, oh, Sabrina hit 37 in a round. I'm like, yeah, but it was with the WNBA ball. And a WNBA three point. Yeah. I'm like, how about yeah, this? You guys switch way. balls. How about don't this? You both way. shoot from the three point line, nah. and Steph shoots the WNBA she did. She ball. She was shooting from the three point line. No, I'm not. My issue wasn't with her, but I'm saying people still complaining. Well, then let shoot. Let Steph shoot from the WNBA three point line with the WNBA ball. So they're both equally uncomfortable. 
I don't think it even fucking matters. Honestly. It doesn't. That's what I'm saying. Those people are idiots. As as Sabrina you can shoot, you can shoot. out herself. You can shoot. You, you can, can shoot. shoot. She grew up playing with a regular ball before she was in the WNBA, and she said she would have been terrible. And I mean, as good as she is, I believe her. I think if anything, I mean, the as as, as obviously stellar that Steph is, it would have been kind of unfair. Because the guy's not used to the ball. There's no way in this universe that he would ever play with a WNBA ball. The weight is different. The feel is different. The the flick off the wrist is different. Like he, it would be unfair to him to force him to do something like that. It would just, I know it's smaller, so it might be like, but you know what I mean. It's still like not what he's used to. Like there's a reason he's automatic because he's gotten so perfect, perfected exactly the the feel of the ball that he uses. So I feel like. You know what I mean? And that's the excuse that would have been made, too, if he would have lost, which is just not an excuse. I think it's valid. I think that I think her pulling up to the three-point line was her own way of pulling it out. I really don't think that anything else could have been done that would have been fair, to be honest. To, to Steph, even, because like she said, she's used a regular ball a shit ton, and he hasn't. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like, for dudes who, it's like, they say, okay, ladies, you should lower the court. You should lower the rim three inches so all you can dunk. There's girls who can dunk and have 40-inch verticals. You just don't talk about them. Okay, to be honest, I do. They're, They're all running track in high school. I, I They're am, all running track right now. I am kind of, I, I, I would say that I do not think, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for like, sports are just as good or whatever. But at the same time, it's it, it's literal. They're just shorter. Women are just shorter, period, period. So I I I personally think that it's not a big deal for the women to be lowered. They are dead ass biologically shorter, and therefore, if they play with shorter rim, you can dunk and to be cool. I don't see anything wrong with that. I really wouldn't. It would take it. It's I like when I see that in the All Star game. I mean, I would say the that All Star game was trash. It was two hundred points. I didn't even watch that shit. I was at work. It's I refused to watch it. It's defense. not the same thing. Like, we're like, you just know how, like, in softball, threes. it's shorter than yeah. football? Why? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, softball is really just made for old dudes who can't play baseball anymore. Let's just be real. Like, so- softball was not made with women in mind. It was made for old dudes who can't fucking pitch but can still go yard on a on a smaller ball. See, I see. I played. I played. A bigger I, ball, I, sir. I played a bigger, baseball. You know what I mean? I, I, okay, I played Little League Baseball. I was the only girl on my team. <laughs> but I also played softball. Pitching softball is way harder than that. Yeah, because the torque on your shoulder. And throwing, fucking ridiculous. throwing softballs is also much harder. I can throw a baseball twice as far as I can throw a lacrosse and softball. Which I never understood why they don't let women in baseball. Well, Cause I'm like, what, let women in baseball? I don't, I don't know there's like, no against it. I'm pretty sure there is. There's plenty of women who have played softball. Probably coming out of Oklahoma, who will go yard on a dude. Yeah. But why don't? Why they don't even? There, there's no nowhere. Field, not even the field is triple A softball though. None of that shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can get if you're an outfielder. Yeah, they're like, well, we're probably not gonna do it. But if you're a pitcher, if you can pitch, you can pitch. Yeah, I just dude, fast pitch softball is so. It's just such a dumb pitch. I'd rather, I'd rather watch college softball than college baseball. Oh yeah, of course. College, fo- college softball way more intense because. I mean, I would say me too, but it's because I watch Oklahoma. So. It's like everybody doesn't want. Everybody's trying to get their ass whooped by Oklahoma. It's like when, when UConn started losing, in women's basketball, everybody loved it because it's like good. Fuck Gina Ariana. Yeah. Not even because of the girls. Like it was like no, fuck that dude. Come All on, right, man. so, yeah. Outside of that, the slam dunk contest was kind of mid too. Brittany like, Griner had uh, a better fucking dunk at her. She- Jersey retirement at Baylor than Jalen Brown did. Jalen Brown is a just is like she had a dunk. Yeah, she dunked at her because it was like a it was a Baylor. They retired her jersey at Baylor, and then she went up and dunked it and got the whole crowd hyped. And I was like, that shit was a mid ass dunk. But honestly, it was fun because she just got up there and did it. But it was still better than any dunk that fucking Jalen Brown ever did. He's a disgrace to the dunk contest, and I never want to see him near one ever again. Why? It was fucking ass, bro. Then he tried to do the that bad. bro. That shit was terrible. He dunked over Kai Sinat. He did. Yes, yeah, shit sitting was, down. Shit Kai Sinat was, was sitting down. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you're taller than Kai Sinat. Kai Sinat's five three. 
That shit was Everybody in here is at least 5'5". Five, five. That shit was Okay, but just having him there for the movie. Okay, like, but besides that, the other dunks This motherfucker okay. Max McClung, and I don't even really care for Max McClung, but the street dunkers are all better dunk. All the He's best a dunkers. He's G-leaguer. Exactly, and all the best dunkers are literally not in the NBA or the G League. Like, there's literally a whole world of dunkers of him and shit. Who, like, who won the dunk contest? Max McClung. And his dunk, Damn, hell, bro. Jaime Juarez had a better dunk than, he dunked over Shaq. And what the fuck did Jalen Brown do? Do that fake cover his eyes shit. I don't that know was what. Stupid. That, that was stupid. That was stupid as fuck. He covered his eyes at the end of it. How, I was like, <laughs> this man <laughs> is a genius. Because he's the highest. He yeah, he tried to do the D. Brown dunk. But he didn't even actually. D. Brown was like unimpressed. Because it was like, it wasn't even a good attempt. You dunked over Kostanat and barely fucking got over him. But Max McClung dunked on Shaq too. Twice. Yeah. All Max McClung's dunks were good. I was like, y'all really don't want the G League to win, but he's a better dunker than you. And it's more pressure because he's fucking like, what, 5'7"? Five, five, he's, he's short. And he got boost. The little legs uh, benefited him, though, too, because it's like they don't drag. No, but he's more explosive because he had to bounce well, to get over saying, the guy's head. Yeah, yeah, but that and also, like, he doesn't have to worry about pulling his legs like a... I mean, Toppin, uh, Obi, oh, that's just Obi's brother, but Toppin had a much better dunk. and He got screwed. He should have went on to the final round. I don't think so. He did a fucking 360, bro. A reverse that shit, was all right. that shit was better than Jay or Jalen Brown did. Jalen Brown can't do that dunk. That shit was bad. I'd rather he just hit a layup. Like Jalen right. Brown got a forty-eight for that bum ass dunk. Yeah, the scores were fucking weird. I, I didn't get what was going on. That shit seemed cooked. They gotta just have like a dunker who one of the best dunkers in the world challenge an NBA dunker. Like they gotta start doing that shit. All right, so the Saints converted salary of Eric McCoy into a roster bonus and got seven million in cap space. <laughs> They need that cap space for sure. Because they're going to probably have some cap casualties this offseason. Uh, Kenny's guy, Matt Areza, signed with the Chiefs. Arazio. Arazio. I'll just say he's my guy. That's wild. But I yeah. mean, you have been banging the table for him. For I mean, he was falsely accused and on just video. Saying. It's video. He was not even there when the oh, girl the, was. Oh, the, the kicker. Yeah, the punter. But he can kick, too. Like, he literally wasn't even there when she got assaulted. He was a part of, like, a mass group, right? Of like No, they, she just picked him out because she was the famous name. But, like, she was underage and lied about her age and was there drinking. And it was like a welcome. It was like one of those pre-welcome. It was before school started. It was like. No, I know the story, but yeah. I don't know about her, her age having having much to do with it. But No, I'm saying, like, because it was, was a lot was, of there shit. Was many, there was many, many assailants named. It was three guys. And he was one of them. I thought the final thing was that she mistook him for another guy that looked like him. Nah, she said it was him directly. Right. And they're like, here's the video evidence to show you're lying. And then it just went away. But then she was like, oh, I thought it was him, but it was this guy that looked like him. I don't, even, I don't think she even came out and said anything publicly in that regard. I think somebody from her team said something, but I didn't hear that part. I just remember... Oh, his case got dismissed because he physically wasn't there to actually commit said crime. But the other guys, but the other guys did. They got kicked trouble, out of school. Right? I don't know if they did. I, I still don't even know if they did. That's what so, it sounds like. They're saying that they saw they so apparently I think it happened, but she just either lied on sex him. Sex occurred. She definitely lied on him. Sex occurred. Or she but got kicked. They don't. All right, so uh, college football consensual. Like they I think they were arguing whether it was even cons- like. I guess it was allegedly rape. But then some people said, oh, we saw the video, and it didn't look like that. But then it, shit got real murky, and they're just like, well, forget all that other shit. He's, we're dismissing charges against him because there's no, so it's like, yeah. But the other two guys literally left school. I think one got expelled. The other guy got kicked out. It was a whole nasty-ass mess. But, yeah, he signed up with the Chiefs because Johnny Townsend, who was an all-pro punter for the Chiefs, is probably going to want, like, $3 million, and they're not giving him much money. So... Why not pay a guy who literally is punting for his life and livelihood? He's going to be dirt cheap. So, and he can kick too. He's a place kicker. But yeah. So, uh, college football. Uh, So, disgraced former Pac 12 commissioner, George. Kalikov, I'm just never gonna know how to say his name, and honestly, fuck him. Um, he 
and the Pac-12 mutually agreed to part ways. They bought him out pretty much and paid all that money to do nothing like he was already doing beforehand. Uh, I just had pretty much killed a conference. He pretty much helped kill off a conference because of his hubris. So now he's gone and well, the Pac-12, they, they found a replacement. Um, I forget the woman's name, but she's, I think she's going to be the, the interim head of it, but it's just a shit situation because the name still exists, but like the conference is clearly gone. Like, Oregon, I don't even know if Oregon State and Washington State are even going to show up to media day for the Mountain West this year. That's going to be interesting. But yeah, Big 12 media day is moving to Vegas. Another exp- another reason why, like, damn, the Pac-12 is dead. The Big 12 actually wanted to merge with the Pac-12, and they turned it down. And then obviously the questions that I asked the commissioner that went viral, you know, hey, you even think about merging with the Mountain West? Nope, haven't even considered it. Not even a thought. Now look at you. Oh, and also, hey, you worried about any Big 12 schools poaching your talent? Nope, we're going to have a media rights deal. It's going to get done. You know, I'm going to work with my colleagues, even though you called some of them cowards and scared. Um, Talk big shit at the media day two years ago about the Big 12 and... It's like they offered you peace and you spit in their face. And now you're going to die like Joe Pesci in Casino. At least that's how the conference went out. And, yeah, you know, it's unfortunate. Him and Larry Scott, you're going to remember two people who killed the conference. And it's just sad. Is he in Casino? Fuck. Didn't you tell me that before? Keep it moving, keep it moving. All right, fuck it, whatever that Joe Pesci's already a meme, so yeah, that movie's like twenty, thirty years old. So uh, the college football board unanimously approved. Um, what five points five plus seven four? Pretty much the fourteen uh, team format is up for discussion for the college football playoff in twenty twenty six, but. Yeah, there's going to be a 12-team playoff. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting going forward. Um, they also signed... Well, the top four, com- the four power four conferences, they get an automatic one through four seed, right? Yeah, and then a fifth seed. So, I'll like, if Notre Dame wins out or... Which one? Does, like, not pack two not schools or whatever. Pack two, that's fucked up. I know it means 12. No, like it's called a 5 plus 7 format. No, but it just like confused me when I saw it because that's not how I explain it. But I was like, all right, cool, 5 but plus 7. Like, but like, yeah, you, no, you I get it. Five yeah, I get it. Like top five conferences and then the other yeah. seven people in a top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so like if Notre <clears throat> Dame went undefeated, they would still be the five seed even if they, no matter who they beat. Well, which is fair. Conference champions. Nobody cares about fucking conferences anymore, bro. I mean, they do. That's why Notre Dame isn't in one, but now they're kind of, like, screwed because they can go 12-1. and one Conferences and just... are bullshit, bro. I Nobody mean, cares about conferences. They're a cash grab. Uh, the SEC, teams, would, the teams, SEC would back to different. Teams want to play. SEC making billions teams a year. Teams want to play their rivals. No, they fucking don't. Yes, they do. Bro, Oklahoma wants to play Oklahoma State. Oregon wants to play Oregon no, State. No, Oklahoma State. They, yeah, I no, would say. Even like, the, I talked to fucking two Sooners that said the exact same thing. No, they no, want to play. Didn't the Sooners lose? Lose what? The last they lost, game? Did they lose Bedlam this year? Or what? Yeah, they lost they this year. Lost yeah, and Oklahoma, I had Oklahoma Cats still saying, it's a shame, but it's not really a rivalry. Well, we've been beating you most of the time. So what I'm saying is, Dude, like, 90% of the game, the it's not a rivalry. These are just, like, some red tape bullshit that, like, keep teams from playing each other. But, like, really, regionally, teams want to play the teams in proximity to them. It's just... That's why Alabama plays bullshit. cupcakes. doesn't happen. That's why Alabama plays cupcakes in December. Like Iowa, Iowa State. Yeah. The well, only, they have to The only business in the business of conferences is conferences. And that's Jeez, mainly the SEC. I mean, Texas and Tamu not playing each other 
just kind of feels really feels weird. But I bet Texas A&M is so mad about that shit. They're like, I bet Tammy was so mad that Texas is. They're like, fuck you again. No, see, it's all the fans. The fans are all super excited, and like ninety nine percent of people. It was just the athletic director who like embarrassed everyone by trying to say no because he wanted to. But we fired him, so it's fine. But I'm saying that's the point. The athletic directors. If you don't have good athletic directors, and the conference chairs are like fucking George. You ruin million dollar, billion dollar matchups. Like you ruin the regular season of college football, which is what you're gonna try to market to everybody. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a real got, when you got UCLA playing at fucking nine AM Pacific time when I'm cool nobody's awake playing fucking Are you Penn scared State. to tell are you scared are you afraid to tailgate at five AM? I'm not afraid to tailgate All right, at five AM. Don't be a bitch then. All right then. Nah, it's the challenge. It's not ideal. Journalists everywhere are happy about it's this shit. A, it's it's, not ideal. You know how much I hated those fucking 7 p.m. kickoffs? Yeah. You know what's funny? 7 p.m. kickoffs You know what's funny? Nobody fucking cares, bro. Yeah, everybody in the press watch, box cares. Nobody cares, in the press box. nobody cares about what people in the press box think. But, that, but they're the off, ones writing the stories. Nobody That's gives what, a fuck. Nobody's people reading, reading those their stories. stories. <laughs> nobody's reading their stories. I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna make LA Times point, but I was like, damn, you're kind of right. LA Times, no more UCLA B report. The messenger. No, they uh, have somebody. They have people. people But I'm saying the it's, point I'm making is nobody cares about what the press box people think. They should shut the fuck up. They're getting a free ticket. Anyways, besides that, it's about the fan experience and the fan experience getting up at 4 a.m. to tailgate. Is fans low-key hated some of the late kickoffs. It's not show. ideal. Uh, but I'm saying a, even just a noon kickoff at least starts at 6. That's a bowl That's game matchup. Reasonable. UCLA, Penn State is a... Big fucking or draw. Fucking I have never been three, to a tailgate that starts six, at 6 the fuck a.m. UCLA starts at 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. Not going to the right tailgates. Well, I, don't know what I to haven't tell been you. to a tailgate since I graduated from Texas A&M. I mean, it's not anything Damn, really? up to A&M standards. That's you went to a USC tailgate. Or was I'm that? working the USC game. Oh, no, that was before you started with us. Never mind. Uh, the earliest I've ever been at a tailgate was, uh, I think, 8 a.m. For That's the, it? For the 11 a.m. games. Because the 9 a.m. games here are 11 a.m. in Texas. Yeah. So. But I'm saying, like, I think people are going to realize they like the early kickoffs more than the late kickoffs. No, they won't. Because the Mac. Not, yeah. not people on the. Not, not on the no. West Coast, bro. Not on the West Coast. Oh, people don't get up that early, man. No. Diehards will though. Imagine, UCLA's in tennis imagine, is gonna again, be fucked. Again, UCLA tennis is fucked. Again, the people who work the events, like the stadium people, the journalists, <laughs> yeah, they'll like it. But again, no, no, nobody no, gives. No, a I'm talking about. I'm, take, I'm taking it. No, I'm not, not even, even talking about them. About not them. I'm not talking about the journalists, the beat writers. I'm talking about no, nothing. Not even the people that work the events because the, the true fans event, will be that there. Would have to have me theoretically if there's a 9 a.m. kickoff. I would have to be at the Coliseum at Five. two o'clock in the morning. Two. There you go. Two, because I have to be there seven hours before kickoff. So well, they're doing worse. it. Two hour, two a.m. They that want those. They, they want those. Night. They want those daytime numbers. Nobody gives a fuck, fuck about Pac-12 after dark anymore. Like Wolf, we'll, now we have Mountain West after dark. It'll still get a good rating, but you're gonna get more eyes and more news on a game that starts at nine a.m. or starts at twelve. It it definitely benefits the media. Then it's starting like, at the vast majority of people. That care, like that would care, probably don't like it. Yeah. Honestly, it's just going to consolidate a lot of it. It's just going to make a lot more of the big games happen at the same time. There's a lot of ad like, dollars. It's not going to be spread out as much. It's not going to have that same feeling of like, hey, that's I can wake up money, at. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's why it's like, you're not just going to wake up at 9 a.m. and fucking drink all day, and then your game starts at 2. And then you're out by six, and then there's another game on. Like, no, it's going to be like, well, there's some bullshit games on after four, but, like, no one cares. nobody and cares. You're, you're just going to be whatever, fucking uh, drunk at, at four o'clock trying to figure out what the fuck you're going to do. Like, Well, if you're at the game, you're not going to go home and watch a game. But if you're at yeah, home. You would. Why wouldn't you? Because you're, you're already blacked out fucking drunk. You would just stay out at if a you, bar. Yeah, but. But I'm saying, I'm saying way, going home and. Game. Let me race home and watch 
But if you get home, you're going to turn it on. I have definitely have come home from a UCLA game and USC still playing and watched it. Your mic isn't even on. Your mic's not even on. Oh, if you had your headphones on. Nah, it's more like this cord. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much like, yeah, if you're at the game, you're going to have fun, but we already got you because you're at the game. But they're trying to get more people to just, they just want to tap into that morning audience and steal that audience from the SEC well, and all these other places. That's idiots, bro, because nobody's watching TV. But they don't nobody's care. Nobody's doing on The late game is going to be streamed on their app, which you're going to download. Or you already have because the streaming services are trying to recreate cable like fucking idiots. You're just cannibalizing the same viewers. That's all you're doing. And they don't care. You're just consolidating and cannibalizing the same people. But that's the thing I don't get because theoretically speaking, you would lose money, right? You are, for sure. They're going to lose money. the viewership is lost because you're not glued to the TV all day. Exactly. And the people at 9 a.m. here who are going to watch a USC or UCLA game are already going to be watching college football right that's they would be watching whatever fucking texas game is on at that time right they just would. because they're a college fan but would right. you rather have somebody watching but now at home? they're not going to watch it like you said all day long they're not going to keep watching it throughout the day because their teams are done they are though they're not middle kidding. america is going to watch more west coast football that's the only they, thing that's going to change and that's who they're catering yeah. to that's the only thing that's going to change the big tens is fucking media days in indiana to- They'll have more access to it. But exactly. That's, but that's not going to be... Those people are already watching Inundated. football. Yeah, but I'm saying... They're just going to be watching USC and UCLA. Or USC-Iowa, fucking, which is a bowl game matchup, which is going to draw huge numbers. I'm saying it's... Would you rather have a sold-out stadium every week and you have to be there at 2 a.m. or a half-full stadium for a bum-ass 7 p.m. kickoff? Bro, the ha- the, the later, earlier the later, games the later, are going to be the later, even less the, the later games sell more tickets, usually. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. Not always, but usually. It really, honestly, what in my experience working with USC anyway, the two seasons I have, it's it the time does not matter. It's the team that matters. For sure. Yeah. It's but the ESPN don't care about that. ESPN it's wants only, all of it in a big only, pot. The only time that we've seen a significant spike was during a college game day. But, of course, since it was college game day, it was already a really good matchup. Yeah. So, like, last season, for example, there were there were times when USC, because I know they kind of sputtered there towards the end, but in the I'm beginning of the season, they were ranked, I don't know, what, top ten throughout the most of the like first Top five the at one point. And there were games that, you know, like, not so good opponents that were at decent times. No one would show up for them. The Rice game. No, there was, like, maybe Cal. I don't even remember. Plus, you got to remember. Nah, they were at Cal. But Plus, then the Washington game. Yeah. Plus he was already not Utah there. too, low key. The Plus Washington you, game was out. You got to remember the, what goes yeah, on. Yeah, everybody stopped. But we sold out. No, we sold out the Washington game. But then after because, that, they were like Washington was a good team, even yeah. though USC wasn't it wasn't there anymore. Plus, yeah. Kenny, you got to remember what goes on on Saturday. What do what do average Americans do on Saturdays? Sleep in. Watch. College Besides football. sleep in and watch college football, what are what are what are the other busy bees doing? I don't know. That's what I do. Taking their kids to fucking sports, bro. So that's another thing that's going to cut into it. Like, Uh, I mean, you could watch the game while you're still in football practice. When I think of Saturday, I think of college football, at least in the fall. But what I'm saying is out here, and this is statistically factual, people play sports and are much more active all year long. Because yeah, we don't yeah. we don't have seasons. I mean, people don't fuck with college football. So now you now yeah. you're gonna because they got other shit they can do. Like, yeah. you know, it's the weather makes a lot more things accessible. So that's what I'm saying is like you you're not gonna get the casual fan who's just gonna go to a game because it's something to do on Saturday. Like you're not gonna get that person at a nine a.m. game. Period. Definitely not. So. I don't know, man. We'll see how it plays out, but yeah. I think not, it, I think I think I don't think it makes a lot of sense for the the yeah. fans here. Anyone with the Pacific time zone is going to be pissed. Lose, is going to lose money because of this. Yeah, for sure. I mean, well, that's why there's no more Pac-12 conference, right? All that money goes to the Big Ten, which yes. is advantageous for them. And the Big Twelve, they get the rest of it. All right, so let's finish up. You yeah, a couple more things. Arizona State head coach Kenny Dillingham pretty much told coaches to stop acting like little bitches and quit complaining 
about the NIL and transfer portal. If you hate it that much, quit. I spent nine years fucking of my life just doing everything I could just to fucking get coaches coffee. And people, you know how many people want my job? You know how many people would kill for my job? For my quarterback assistant, my offensive coordinator, all my, like, assistant's jobs. So, like, let's not sit up here and act like we're victims here as coaches, which they aren't. They were never victims. Um, all these coaches who signed these fat contracts, I think it was a, somebody, uh, I think it was Greenberg, he, he talked about, like, since, like, 20... 20 or 2021, like 21 new head coaches got hired and like only two of them got fired. The other 19 are all at different schools because they took better opportunities. So when you piss on a kid for wanting money for an IL, he knows, oh, this is how much you guys are getting from a cable deal, from a TV deal, from a streaming deal. This is how much the conference is paying you. This is how much money is going into and I don't get none of it and I got to yeah, I'm going to take this NIL deal and all the money it's worth. Kiss my ass. Like, I'm glad Caleb got almost $3 million in NIL. Good for him. And like other guys on the team use their NIL to help their teammates out, do whatever. Like, if we're going to say we live in a capitalistic society, you can't then tell college students they can't make money. Because then what's the fucking point of going to college if I can't make money with my peers? Now you're just... Now that you're just... Okay, are we, we're technically school employees. We're technically, like, you march us out there to play a game that we could play at a fucking park with 20 people. You fill a 100,000-seat stadium. We don't get a cut of the alcohol revenue. We don't get a cut of none of that shit. So don't sit up here and get mad at us for making this money. Shout out to EA Sports. Uh, honestly, this company... The life of the, of EA Sports really depends on how good this this uh, college football 2025 game is. Because if this game is trash, EA Sports is done. They're already gonna have layoffs. You, you can't <laughs> you can't come back from this being trash and Mad being trash. You gotta pick what you're gonna be trash at. Because if this is so trash that it goes viral, bro, I'm telling you, these young kids, bro, when EA Sports would be fine. I mean, they'll be fine in other aspects, but in terms of football... Why do you think they make these, Kenny? Yeah, but... Because they print fucking money. How come they haven't made NCAA in a long time? That's what I'm saying. Because of licensing. Yes. But you can always get around licensing. If they really wanted to, they could have got... Like, a deal could have been struck if they really wanted to. No union. There was no way to exchange to pay athletes. There was no way to do it with the players, but now it's possible because of the NIL. Yeah. They couldn't have done it before. Because... NCAA they, they've already had a bad, but cats have been getting paid under the NCAA for decades. Well, illegally, yeah, yeah. Illegally yeah. and under the table, but okay, that's not then. the same thing. Yeah, I know, but but the NCAA can 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 plead blissful ignorance to that. They've been actually, they actually, the NCAA came out with a rule that you can't decorate your hotel rooms or whatever for uh, recruits when they come. Just haters, just just being haters. Like, bro, just die already. Like, you're already, we know you're vampiring off these kids. You're not really doing shit, NCAA. How about you just step aside? Like, I don't know what's what's more toxic. The NCAA is the whole. As just, a non gamer talking about gaming companies, that's kind of toxic. Okay, EA Sports sucks ass. That's for sure. They wow. still fucking print money. They Nobody's do. denying they're printing money, but like. But you were saying they create a done. product. We've been waiting be ten done, fucking bro. They would not be done. They'd be done culturally. I don't say done financially. No, nah, they wouldn't be done. Hey man, okay. People still buy I Madden. think I think they'd be done culturally. Begrudging everyone. Yeah. Everyone has been bitching about Madden for a solid ten years. But I mean, I feel and like it's it, still people one of the hold, best. People games. have been holding out for this game. College yeah. football is their fucking heart, bro. I don't think you understand that. Yeah, college football is people's hearts. In a way that the it's NFL gonna be the same reach. fucking engine. It's fucking bro. making New Hampshire a fifty year game. dynasty. Do you know what that's like to watch shit. New Hampshire go fucking fourteen and zero and beat Alabama in a national title game? Appalachian State. Let me just start naming D twos. Holy Cross. All right, man. Fuck. Finish the last bullet. Appalachian State's a D one. I thought. Holy Cross is D one now. Presbyterian too. <laughs> um, and Delaware is going to be twenty. Delaware is going to be a D one team in twenty twenty six. So they're going to be actually on the outside of, the, of this current game looking in. Damn. But, yeah, uh, Texas AMU Commerce versus Incarnate Word, both two Texas, Texas football teams. Texas AMU. Tamu Commerce. 
It's Tamu, not Tamu. Tamu. First off, I'm from LA. I don't I don't say words that end in ooh. I don't want to get banged fuck? on. I don't want to get banged then say, on. Then say Texas A and M University. I said you slandered me for saying Tam Tamu. It's Tamu. I don't say it. Tamu. Like you don't sleep in front of a mirror. You don't say Tamu. I've been too close Tamu. to Damu. Yeah, because you fucking like to play games. And you were like, I don't say that. Nobody says that. Nobody says Everyone that. Everyone says that. It's yeah. frowned upon. I was like, no, it's frowned Tamu. upon. I said uh, it's frowned upon. Tamu. I'm not going to get mad at you for saying Tamu because you say Tamu. You did get mad at me. What do you mean mad He's a culture vulture. You get mad at me. No, he's a culture vulture. He just says graduate. shit to say shit. I graduated from Texas a I said I'm not mad at you. You said, oh, I'm not going to get mad at you. I would hope not. Yeah, but him. I'm the only person in this room that would, understand, that would know the pronunciation. Like, But he's a culture vulture, so he'll just say the shit and they'd be like, see, I know about Texas A&M more than you and Nikki. No. Okay. I you know he would do that. that. It's, just, I never I it's coming that. though. I I've comment. literally, I was really aiming this at him. It's not at you. I even thought that you're going to. Like, I literally okay, have it's, not it's coming. even did had that. It's coming. Did y'all, see the, did y'all see the Super Bowl commercial about uh, Timu or whatever that everyone thought was Timu, but they pronounced it wrong? The whole yeah, I'm sick of Timu, bro. I'm the really only sick. one who's that's not, nasty word. But it's not Timu, it's Timu. Yeah, the it only sounds one like a person. bullshit milk. The only one who speaks authoritatively like on milk. things that they don't have an experience is you. Kevin. That's cap. That's I've I never tell even, you shit I don't like. I've never even I, been to Texas A and M. So how would I even say that? I've never even fucking looked at the. How much shit have you? Campus, how much shit have you culturally the, colonized? Over I looked the years. at the campus on Google Maps. That's about as close as I got to it. Anyway, they got into a big ass brawl. Yeah, that's just big as fuck. They got into a big ass brawl. Yeah, it's fucking farmland and Texas, agricultural. Texas A and M Commerce, which is in Dallas, different place. But you see another place said you that? hate. Did you hear how they said that? Oh. Yeah, because it's farming. Yeah, like, well, like you've agriculture. Been there. Like you, it's been agriculture. There. It's land. Like you know, that's it's what in I'm the name. About. That was an exhibit. Texas that was agriculture, exhibit a. agriculture and Here mining, which would mean there has to be a Still, lot of fucking land. Mining? Did you say mining? It's mining, right? Agriculture and mining. Still. No. What the fuck does the M stand for? I thought it was mining this what whole the time. Fuck you, mining. Agriculture <laughs> and mining. Yo, for real. <laughs> no, seriously, what does the M stand for? My case rest, Your Honor. My case rest. I let you be the guest. I want you to think about it. I said agriculture and mining. I assumed it was mining. There's little colleges that have that fucking do mining. It's that weird. Teach you that there's a four-year degree on how to mine. Not in California, but I mean other fucking states like probably West Virginia. But nah, um, yeah. So they got into a big ass brawl. I mean, really, it's just like shoving and slapping. I don't really see any real punches connect. Somebody definitely probably got stomped out though. But yeah, that's crazy. So, agriculture and mindfulness? Well, I'm going to punch you on the head. <laughs> I'm going to commit a hate crime on the air. It's definitely mining. It has to be mining. What else would it fucking be? Why the fuck would it be mining, Kenny? There's so many things. Yeah, agriculture and what? Fucking, I don't Mo- know. Moist men? Wow. What? Is that, that's what you're thinking about? All right, man. Do you. Ready to read? Uh, yeah. <laughs> she looked around like, got him. I was See? definitely that guy who popcorn to the person who was not fucking paying attention. You're an asshole. You probably did that, shit at, do that. you did that shit during team meetings, too. I would do that to the guy who could barely read and was asleep or drawing on himself. You're going to Shout hell, Shout out to bro. my boy, Gary Fuentes, wherever he is. So you did this to the person in class who couldn't read? Yeah, wow, you definitely right. did that shit. You are heaven Popcorn gates. Popcorn Gary. Ugh, fucking You're, big man. You might not get into heaven now. We that. all did that shit, though. That's what was crazy. Everyone did that, bro. Any football player got popcorn and Gary was in your class, you had to throw it to him. That's fucked up. That reminds me of this kid I went to school named Destin. That's fucked up. But he was raw until you quit. Because he probably so, got bullied because he couldn't read. That's fucked so, up. Just come back. No, he came in as a linebacker. He played at El Toro. I hear it. Cool ringtone. Wow, it was under your booty the whole time. Just casually throw around the word booty. Why? Don't. No, just butt. Right yeah, you made it weird. No, bro. like in general. You made it weird. Like, I don't like the way you say certain words. It just, it sounds funny. And I don't like it. <laughs> Are you from the gardens? What? All right. 
Zach, Touchdown or turnover? Know. The Chiefs franchise. Nicholson. The Chiefs franchise. Nickerson, not Nicholson. Jesus Christ. See, this is why I tell you you be culture altering. Go ahead. The Chiefs franchise tag Chris Jones for the second year in a row. That's a turnover because, one, they're going to have to pay him 20% more than they paid him this year. Two, Aaron Donald has got a fucking contract extension. Why can't Chris Jones? Because they don't want to pay him and he's too nice. And three, they got a bunch of other players they need to re-sign, so that's going to tie up some of their cap space. The Jarius yeah. needs to a top five player, so. And Willie Gay is going to get paid. Watch the Raiders pay him $15 million and only offer Devin White 12 I mean, a lot of their depth, too. Watch, the them p- watch them pay Willie Gay more money than they were going to offer Devin White. And then you're just going to be mad about it because Willie Gay is sure. not going to be better in coverage or against the run. You're like, why did you use the one Mississippi State linebacker? All right, next one. <clears throat> That's your coconut. Oh, I can't talk. The Vikings refuse to give Kirk a guaranteed deal. Agriculture and minced meat. It's it's mechanical, bro. It's mechanical. Took you that long? I mean, shit. There are my UTEP does some mining. Wow, that's their mascot. Yeah, but they also like do mining and shit. Do they? It's agriculture. Yeah, to an extent. Are you sure? Yes. You you, you know that they have a mining major. They have at UTEP. classes. I say that. Well, I didn't say all that. You sound like you're talking out of your ass. I'm really not. It's agriculture and mechanical engineering, to be specific. Mm. Why do they leave out the E? Because that fucks up the brand. To me? It's mechanical and an To me? No, no, no. He's stupid. To me? You can't. Do you understand how fucking vowels and consonants work? Tame you? T A M U E. No, the E U makes a weird ass. Tamau. Yeah, exactly. Tamui. Yeah, fuck you. You don't know it either. All right, right, next one. You and E is sometimes why, bitch. I paid attention to class. Okay, if you want a cute little history lesson, they used to call it the Agriculture and Mechanical Engineering College of Texas is what it used to be called. That's a lot. Wait. But I think after the Second World War, they started calling it. Timute? God damn. They started calling it. Timuti? Timuti? Texas A&M University. Texas A&M University? They made the right choice. I'm from Texas A&M University. They made the right choice. Okay, boom hour. <laughs> so I feel like I talk for like I feel like I talk for like that too long. I might have a stroke. Was, was Jimmy G's stuff PED stuff mentioned? Uh, that's why sure we, I did. we did talk about it. Okay, that's why I put it in right because it wasn't Jimmy G. Well, yeah. So well, wait, we moved on. So, Sorry, I didn't play the sound. Hold on. Uh, I did. We never answered about Kirk Cousins. Oh yeah. I mean. All right, Kirk, bro, bro being overlooked oh, once again. Fuck. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk going to get his money wherever he go. I don't care. I'm Kirk going to get his I'm money. He might go back to Washington and get I his bread. I am a Kirk Cousins truther. Honestly, I want Kirk Cousins to be my financial advisor. <laughs> Trying to squeeze as much money as I can out the NFL, too. <laughs> well, he has the injury. I think that's what makes it hard. He's still going to find a way money. to have an injury clause and get a full security contract. to figure out a long-term solution. So, yeah. I don't blame them. All right, take your tangent. You're getting a bag somewhere. Take your tangent. Um, so, yeah, oh, I was gonna, on my own side note, um, that whole Jimmy G thing kind of cringe because, like, he was prescribed all that. You take steroids and still suck. No, it was a pre- prescribed medication that he didn't report, and therefore they suspended him two games for it. I'll make a porn star joke, but I won't. Everyone's been making them. Go ahead. Yeah, was, Why do I not get it? Like, like a, like was, a. This is an HR one. Probably got like a syphilis, like a syphilis kind of. Not a syphilis. No, like, no he, yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> getting it. Roman yeah. hymns. Wait, I don't know where the fuck you want to call it. Hymns. Gas station. Is syphilis STD? A, a yellow. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, wait, what's you didn't know syphilis was an no, STD? No, what's the one that's set? It's like like Chlamydia? syphilis. No, it starts with an S, but it's like way worse than syphilis, and it's not an STD. Serpies? I'm just playing. Like super herpes. Whatever it doesn't matter. Anyway, can, moving on. <laughs> it probably is. I just don't know. No, there's internet. like there's like another really bad human disease. papillomavirus. You gotta stop. You gotta. You need to be stopped. 
So HPV is a STD. Michael, Mike, Micah Parsons. When I say that, I get yelled at. STI, I'm sorry. What, STD? No. I don't say STD anymore. It's STI. Now you're fucking... Wait, what's, what? What's the difference? It's so a different STI kind of infection. STI encompasses more because it's an infection that leads to the disease. But it is a disease. STD it can be a disease. Herpes is a disease. But an, infe- an STI is just an infection. It's it like, wouldn't necessarily be a disease. But but it's a disease that you just cure with meds. Not all of them. Cure it. People who Not are sensitive are about it. having an STD. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when like 80% of us have been exposed to STDs already. And we don't know it in our lifetime. I mean, my, 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 my brother got dropped by AIDS, so I think. <laughs> so, and I always, he always called it STDs. So. I don't know how to even reply to that statement. <laughs> Bro got right, bodied by AIDS. Uh... Change the subject. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this what the is, fuck is going lot. on? You're that's on the hinge right now. You are on hinge right now. <laughs> are you on hymns? <laughs> yeah. What is she it? over here taking fucking yellow pack. No, what's it called? Yeah. A mu- not a mustard pack. <laughs> She's um, taking the fucking green pill. No, what's that? Yeah. What's that yeah. shit called? That you everybody said, be fuck on? fuck the blue and the red. I'm going to take the green pill. I'm going to take all the <laughs> pills. Like, please, give me the cyanide Give me pill, both. Please. Give me the rainbow pack. Fuck it. Give me the rising pill. <laughs> All right, go Yo. ahead. That's All too right. much. <laughs> the rising pack. Anyway, Micah. The rising shine? Not anymore. Micah Parsons. Made me listen to the U's tonight. <laughs> Micah Parsons says that he thinks the Cowboys should give Pollard another chance. <sighs> They're going to sign Josh Jacobs and Pete going to kill himself. Wait, wait. Oh, Sign Zeke as a fullback. No bitching about Tony Pollard. You got what you paid for. <gasps> now that's not what uh that's not what Jimmy G said. He probably should have just paid for a honey pack and he would have not been suspended. I've been telling Kenny all off season. Josh Jacobs. Yeah, he really hate, he hates Chargers. Tony Pollard. Even though Tony Pollard could have been you, a Raider. You know why he hates Tony Pollard, right? He also hates honey packs too at Memphis. I don't. Do I got to say it? He's just a you easy to root it. against. You should say it. You should definitely He's say it. easy to root against because you're a Zeke, Zeke dick eater. Is your father? I mean, besides that, even if he wasn't, Zeke I, is your grandfather I paradox. Never Tony Ballard. Really? I don't you're like a, how he runs. He's, not, he's, he's a he's, fucking he's liar, bro. I don't like his running style. So. Lies. I don't like his running style. So. Loso. I watched that senior bowl. You were like, "Damn, he's actually good." Watch the Raiders not I pick him. I think he's easy to root for. I loved watching. You're him. mad he got I all the outside it. plays. Just say it. you get. You're mad he got all the outside plays. Zeke had to take a battering, running all those dives and counters but and shit. That's what he's built for. That's what Zeke. But does. he can do more. I mean, he showed it. He showed it on that touchdown run that didn't count. Damn, all I'm that's saying the sad is, part. Reminds me, saying he wants to be the top guy. That's actually kind of sad. Took, eh? If you took, I guess the Raiders. Yeah, that eighty-yard touchdown Darren run that didn't count. McFadden and put him in the Tony Pollard universe. Whoa, 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 whoa. McFadden would have fifteen hundred rushing. McFadden runs. ran a four-three-three at six-two. That's not even not even the same. That's what I'm saying. They're though. not even the same. That's player. what I'm saying. Though. Don't you ever compare Tony McFadden to the great Darren Tony McFadden? McFadden. And, Tony yeah, fucking Pollard. <laughs> See? Now that's, that's, what I'm saying, that's in the ATL universe, too. You're All pull- right. I think you're, Next pulling, one. you're pulling a Kenny right now, Pete. Why? Because you're, you're letting your personal bias get in the way of this. Of the, of when do I let my personal bias get in the way of my I just never public really, opinion? I just never really... All the time. <laughs> I know, I know. I just want to see who's gonna react. I just never really who's liked... gonna call bullshit first? And she did. I just never really liked Tony Baller. She looked at me like fucking right, Sarah girls, Eagle. Right, girls, can we can we can we pay attention? To You're both pretty. <laughs> Shut up. All right, moving on. Tony Baller, Tim, but whatever. Uh, for <laughs> yeah, yeah, him and Fortnite. Got him. All right. He rushed for a thousand yards. Jacobs didn't. Uh, cool story. I mean, okay, I don't know why you hate Josh Jacobs so much. I don't hate Josh Jacobs, but I just clearly... You do hate I, Josh Jacobs. No, I just... I, I, really I, I never liked the pick. Jacobs. There, I said it. I never liked the fucking pick. You just want to see Could a Filipino... Could have had Montez Sweat. No, Swan. actually, no, I she love Filipinos, she first she off. No, 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 Filipino first off. Not I got Filipino cousins, indirectly, so watch your fucking mouth. Um, secondly... Yeah, I've got... I've got nobody had him through. projected going in the first Thank round. You. Thank you. Nobody you, had him projected going. I don't know. Yeah. I chill don't know. Chill the fuck out, Stephen There's no snare in my headphones. <laughs> yeah. Chill the fuck out, bro. Sometimes I yell because I don't know if I'm actually being yeah, hurt. Yeah, watch your fucking mouth, bro. No, nah, it's Pisces season. Uh, watch your wait, fucking was mouth. Was that an Eminem reference? 
Maybe. No Jason. Sarah, Yo, I saw yeah, a mom's spaghetti fucking review this week. That shit was crazy. I told you that shit is awful. Shit it's horrible. Crazy. It's a horrible restaurant. It's a cash cab for him. All right, let's move on. But anyway, yeah. I mean, he's not making the motherfucking spaghetti himself. But he put Take his name on it. it. I mean, it's yeah, actually have you had Bobby Flay's burgers in Vegas? That place sucks. Why would I eat, a, why would I eat a burger from Bobby Vegas Flay? Suck. I heard the fish and chips are good. What do you mean? Why wouldn't you eat a burger from Bobby Flay? No, I'm going to get some upscale shit. I'm going to get some fucking You're a scallops. You're fucking idiot, bro. I'm going to get some shit, some this ribs from Bobby Flay. This is listen to you, bro. I'm not getting a burger from Bobby fucking Flay. Bobby I'm getting a Flay? burger. I'm getting a burger from, uh, oh boy. Guy Fieri. Yeah, I'm going to fucking Guy Fieri to get a burger. You're an idiot, bro. First off. I don't trust people who aren't fat okay. with my food. First off, have, have first off did you know vegan. Guy Fieri was raised a fucking vegan? I don't really? care. Yeah. He makes great yeah. food. Yeah, and his his sister tragically died, but she was vegan. Can you he stop dick eating both. him? What does this have to do That's with one. me liking this over Bobby Two. Flay? He's not, well, Bobby okay. Flay came up as he's, a fucking grill he's master. Gawking. He's a grill fucking master. That man could give me anything off a of grill, and I would eat it and lick the plate. Pause. So, so his dick, which is sure, what you're eating. Pause. If he grilled it, yeah. He just admitted to dick eating, if and he, then said he's not he dick eating. If he grilled it, yeah. No. He if threw he, it on the if grill. If he sauteed it? Yeah, If sure. he put lemon juice Why on it? No. fucking not? If he no. kissed it and raised it up to God <laughs> like Mufasa? Why fucking not? I, I mean, Rafiki? He's a fucking grill on. master, dog. So put some respect on that man's grill. I no, I put respect oh, on Bobby Flay, but I'm just not going to Bobby Flay to get hold fucking on, on. grilled foods. He's a grill. I get a steak from Bobby Flay. Can we just a revel? Grill. Can we just revel? He just, he just said. Yeah, he just admitted that he would openly eat a man's dick. <laughs> on the grill. <laughs> Can we like Dirty black a white man stick at that, which explains a lot can we about just you a now. Can we just a moment of silence? <laughs> He said it on wax. No! I'm just letting everybody. That's Woo! why I lock my doors at night. <laughs> I just want to. Yeah. He no. said that. I just want to let you sit with that for just a second. He's, no, he's not going to sit with it. He's going to take it in his bedroom and eat it. <laughs> he's going to get it to go back and eat it in the car and then tell his brother he got a McDonald's. <laughs> I just made three jokes come full circle. Yeah, bro. So I got one more in me. <laughs> Does. He has apparently two more. He has room for two more in him. Pause. All right. Now, you got here, he here dick eating Zeke and Bobby Flay. Okay. F- okay. And the hill to die on is grilled food? Okay. That's crazy. Side note. Side note. That's have, a wild hill to die on. On. On, on Carnival Cruises, they have a Guy Fieri restaurant. Bar none, best restaurant in the whole fucking shit. I believe it. It was so good, dude. Because that's fucking Flavor Town. There's only like five restaurants on the shit. And everybody else gives you fucking diarrhea. Montezuma's no. Revenge. Uh, Hold on. Look at Exhibit B. Cruise food. Can he talking about something? I've been on a cruise experience. before. Where'd I've been you on, go a cruise on a cruise when I was a child. <laughs> that don't fucking count, bro. I listen to what the adults that say, though. Count. They're like, hey, yo. Uh, so don't, don't eat the jello in the book. Don't eat the jello. In the, I'm like, all right, bet. I won't. <laughs> You are so full of shit, bro. We all are, but I'm telling the truth. You would. Fucking, you just don't like my answer. You would love a fucking cruise, bro. They have a whole no, M&M I, bar. I, I, no, they have a whole speaking. M&M bar. You can get up at 4 a.m. and you, get ice cream and pizza. Yeah. I do that now. <laughs> exactly. <The fuck? laughs> but it's included. And I don't get seasick. You don't have to pay for it. You can just walk over and Yeah, but I might not get seasick. You don't get seasick. The stabilizers on cruise ships go crazy. I mean, and guess what? with they, my luck, and they I sell, would somehow. They sell seasick pills. With my that luck, perfect. I mean, they probably sell honey packs too, but that's a whole other story. Uh, Get off honey packs, dictionary. No, it's just you, you don't just understand. You don't even honey know what honey pack is. Day. That's why I can just keep saying it and then never talk Isn't about it, like it again. Honey dip, but like multiple of them. How about you just you two Google what a honey pack is, and then you'll Isn't laugh like at the a honey dip. I'm not gonna tell. You, I'm not gonna tell you. Is it like honey dicking multiple people? You are so. <laughs> What is what is his problem? What is that? Okay, we, you dicks and thick? seasonings. You don't know what honey dick it is. No, we know, but the problem is we you don't mean it the way we He's mean going it. Going out of your way to mention dick <laughs> and eating it with different flavors and sauces. You're like the wing stop of dicks over here. <laughs> A buffet That's of dick fucking, eating. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a fucking. Drive. This man eats any more dick. He's gonna be Superhead's rival. 
Wingstop bar was pretty fire. <laughs> 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 That's my thing you ever said, honestly. No wonder why you like Wingstop sandwiches so much. It's all coming together now. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right, all right, all right. Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. We're horrible. Or we're not, depending on who's listening to this. All right, so. Hope my grandma's not listening this week. <laughs> we sh- all right, so. Le- she uh, probably is. LeBron says that he's unsure if he'll seek retirement to her or, quote, unquote, Tim Duncan it. Speaking of dick eating. Jesus Christ. How do you dick eat yourself? He's Marilyn Manson himself. <laughs> he has his own fucking museum. What do you expect? Bro, him and Giannis are like in the Hall of Fame of dick eating yourself. Giannis? You mean Giannis? Whatever the fuck his name is. The one brother that doesn't suck. Oh, wait. I thought you said does suck. <laughs> hey, Giannis is... Let's see. Talking talk about Giannis sucking too. and dick eating. No, dude, I love Giannis. Really? I really like that guy. He's, I think he's really cool. He's a fucking complainer. And he, he's okay, worse so than Doc Rivers. He's, he's so a worse much. person than Marshawn Lynch, for sure. First off, I'll fucking fight you. <laughs> Marshawn. Yeah. The Greek freak is a fucking he's contradiction. He's people fired. Bro, he got Booze he got He got Boom Howard, Booze Howard, yeah. Bulldozer, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> okay, B. I don't fucking know, man. Like, when I get when I get that many, like, I really like f- syllables in a person's name, it gets me mad. Why right, can't you tell us the last name? Let's finish the show so we can fucking okay, so what do we, chill. So, yeah, so what do we what do we think about that LeBron thing? I don't give a fuck, man. I'd, I'm tired of talking about I'd rather LeBron. talk about the All-Star game again. I'd rather watch fucking... Okay, Mr. Lakers fan. Man, let me tell you this. I told Pete this off the air. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> that was good. Keep that. Keep that in. No, keep that in. That, she's on the zone. Oh, guys. Shut up. Really thought we were going to do an hour this week. I'm sorry. You have more dick eating to finish once we get off the air. My bad. I'm going to just say this. When it comes that's to the whole weird, LeBron thing. I'm going to go in your room and smoke. Wait, what? No. So that's pause. weird that you said that. No, pause. Pause. I'm just saying. Pause. You, you said that. Pause. You said I want to do more digging. Now. Pause. What are you pausing him for? No, because you're just no. You're, you're insinuating some wild shit right now. That's you're the crazy, one who said that, bro. Bro, who, we can go smoke outside in, on the porch. I don't know what you said. <laughs> Why'd you pick my room? That's crazy. Because your room already smells like smoke. It doesn't. I sprayed. I'm just saying. Go back there. You won't smell weed. You're saying what I'm gonna do after knowing what I'm already gonna do after. So I don't know what you were gonna do after. I thought you were gonna weird. go to the gym. That's what's weird, bro. That's why I'm saying it's weird. Well, I, I mean, you could have just ran with the joke and let me keep talking I shit could've. about LeBron. I could have. I was talking shit about LeBron, and I was gonna say, admit you were right about something, but now I'm not gonna do it. Admit you right. was right. No way. Better, better. I was gonna admit it. It's a better gift than you. But he Holy just shit, Merry Christmas. Fine. He just kept talking. Brother, just move on. All right, moving on then. Uh, fuck, fuck the Lakers as long as LeBron's on the team. There, my glorious king, Johnny Manziel, Matthew Mandel? Slater, well, the no. fuck, <laughs> retires. Damn, you really hate that's crazy. Retires after sixteen seasons, three rings, ten Pro Bowl selections. Are we really calling five him a Hall time, of Famer? Five time All Pro. Are we really calling him a Hall of Famer? Are we just letting special teamers on the Hall of Fame now? What a the lot fuck? of people are calling him a, a Hall of Famer. Special team. He's a Hall of Fame special teamer. Definitely Six, that. Three rings, ten Pro Bowls, five all I heard all that. I heard all People that. People are saying he's the best gunner of all time. That's cool, but you know you know who probably scored a touchdown on him? Devin Hester. What, what the fuck does that even mean? What I mean, Devin Hester, Hester scored touchdowns. All I'm saying is he's got to wait. Slater just made tackles on a Super Bowl fucking caliber he's loaded gotta team. He's got to wait 50 what years. What the fuck are we talking about? He's got to wait 50 years like Ray Guy. If he's going to get in before. If he rates 50 nah, years bro. like Ray Guy. Then you got to throw in Steve Cast. Then you got to throw in Steve Tasker. Then we got to go find all these other fucking mid-ass. Uh, no, I'm drawing a line. Special team Hall of Famers don't. Special team all prolers don't get in the Hall of Fame like that. No, bro. What the fuck? Now so we're just lowering the Shane bar. Leckler in? Three, three, hold on. Three Shane Leckler rings, three Super Bowl ain't getting rings. in because they just let in Ray Guy. Three Super Bowl rings. They only let in one Raiders Pro punter a fucking century. And pros, and you think he has to wait 50 years. He's a special yeah, teamer. Wait 50 years. He's a special yeah. teamer. No, and no, no. He only played special teams. He, has he more couldn't play rings. receiver. He was ass at who receiver. Has more, who, who actively in the league has more rings than him right now? I don't give a fuck. He should. No one cares about that. No one cares about that. You know who's a better player than him and Hall of Fame player? T. Smith Sr.? I wish he played for the Raiders, but hey, he didn't. But I'm telling you, a special teams gunner is not a Hall of and Fame don't all caliber the Chiefs position. Have three rings? Huh? Don't, don't Isaiah? The, doesn't Pat Mahomes have three rings? Don't Travis who, Kelsey I got three rings? Ring, I said who active in the league right now has more rings than him? Mahomes. No. 
Technically. Same amount. I said more. I mean, he's younger, so you kind of have to give him the edge because he's younger and he's going to compete for another ring. But I said more. He's at the end of his career. And you're comparing him to okay, Patrick fine. Mahomes, by the Did way. Did Brady officially retire or is he still back on his bullshit? <laughs> it was a joke. But, um, nah. I get that he has three Super Bowl rings. Also, with Patrick Mahomes. But name me the, name me the greatest Matthew made... Slater play in Super Bowl history. What is it supposed to mean? It means nothing he did dictated the outcome of the game the way, I don't know, Adam Vinatieri did. But then, did I say okay, Vinatieri? But, Vinatieri? But, but then you had the opposite argument when it came to Julian Edelman. I talked about how... Edelman's not a Hall of Famer himself. either. I talked about how... Okay, first off, Matthew Slater is a Hall of Famer. No, he's not. Hall, Hall of Fame Hall. special teamer, yes, but Hall he's of Fame... Not a Hall of Fame. NFL yeah. Hall of Fame? Now we're just letting anybody in. Now you're just letting anybody in if Slater goes in over Torrey Holt, fucking... Um, Antonio Gates has more touchdowns than... He is all. one of, if not the best gunner of all time. What the fuck? Did, gunners are so replaceable, you can't even name me 15 gunners. And you can name me 30 gunners, but you only know 15, and you can't name me the 15 because nobody gives a fuck about the gunner position. It's, it hasn't revolutionized kickoffs. They still have kick returns for touchdowns with the gunner out there. He's just the greatest. He's the standard. for. He'll be a great special teams coach. Dare I say, maybe even a head coach if he wants to one day. And isn't his dad Jackie Slater? Yep. He could be a great, great head coach one great day. Jackie Slater. The great Jackie Slater. But he's not a Hall of Fame football player. I am more sure of him getting a Hall of Fame than I would be Julian Edelman. Edelman's not going to get in. But he don't even have fucking 10K receiving yards, does he? If he does, it's barely. So. Well, but you just you just mentioned the Super Bowl thing. If t- Ed, Super Bowls Edelman, aren't an indication of your Hall of Famer, if Edelman, Eli, it might not be a Hall of Famer. Said, if you Edelman said, gets in, you said name one memorable play. He if made Edelman in any gets Super in, you gotta let Heinz Ward in. You gotta let Keenan McCardo in. You, you gotta, gotta let, let Jimmy Rod Smith, Smith in. in. You gotta let Jimmy Smith in. Wes Welker. I never said. I never. Okay. But like, what you what this individual player? If we gave you that mulligan. Then the floodgates would open for everybody else who was really good but not great. Okay, Fred, he's not a better football player than Fred Taylor Matthew, Matthew or Stephen Jackson Slaver, or Jimmy Matthew, Smith or Heinz Wood or Tiki Barber. Matthew Slaver would not be a mulligan. Like that's kind of a we're gonna change the rules for this one guy. Bobby playing him. That's all I'm saying right now. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> just you, you, new verb, huh? you, that shit was hard, huh? Yeah, you guys don't like say, that shit. Don't say Bobby you playing hard like in the same shit. sentence. I made some fucking Kanan for our show. Congrats. Kanan. Kanan. Whatever. You, you don't even watch Power. Bro, you don't even watch Power. You, so you're actively proud about admitting that you would eat another guy's dick on stream. Not have it grilled girl. and sauteed for perfection by, by a five-star by, chef. By, yeah. by a Michelin-approved yeah. chef. Yeah. All right, I'm moving on. But but nonetheless, none, I nonetheless, I agree. He's in whatever, the ring whatever, of honor. Whatever your thoughts are, he's in the ring of honor today. Period. Whatever your thoughts are, don't retire his jersey. Matthew though. Slater, masterclass, uh, masterclass player, masterclass person. Yes, he was a New England Patriot. In it, it ran through his blood. He. That's that's he, what STIs are. No, his dad was a Ram. He, he, his dad was a Ram. I mean, I'm talking about him. Who beat the Ram? Who beat the Patriots? Trying, who beat the Patriots? What, what, yeah. what I'm trying to say is. Being a patriot, you're filleting him. You're fillet fishing him. Let me finish. All right. Matthew Slater. She was serious. I'm sorry. Is is an icon in New England. He is a an, a stellar player and an even stellar patriot. Um, he did he he did so much for that team in both in both his performance and his attitude and his leadership. We will miss you. Um, you a real one, and uh, yeah. So, I wanted to give him a little shout out because um, he was like one of my favorite. Patri- I was gonna say active Patriots, but rip. Uh, no longer active Patriots. You rocking eighteen jersey? Uh, I'm not rocking any Patriots jersey right now because none of them are going to be around anytime soon, except hopefully, wow. fingers crossed, Judon. Anyway. I mean, they're trying to get uh, what's his face over there. They're trying to get uh, what's his name from the Ravens over there. Marlon Humphreys. Oh, um, also, uh, Hightower is now a New England Patriot coach, which is, I thought was cool. Which is crazy, because I feel oh, like he could have played three more years. Could've. I feel like he could have played three more years, but those injuries were a lot. The last true great Alabama linebacker who didn't bust out. He actually met expectations. What and about Hightower? C.K. Hightower, Hightower is Mostly definitely... Mostly for a minute. T- Hightower is definitely, like, 
top, I would say, 10. No, like top 15, maybe. He, he made everybody Winter believe in Taylor. Alabama linebackers again Taylor. after McLean. Huh? All right, let's move on. Well, finishing up, take your tangent. Uh, Kevin Durant ironically wants to be a part of the Seattle expansion team if it gets approved. I don't know why that's ironic. It's not his fault that the team moved. The team was already moving when he got drafted there. And the Lakers beat the Supersonics. I meant, I meant it to be ironic because he was saying, like, the Lakers he, beat the he, Supersonics? He, he, he had this whole spiel about, like, how cool it would be to be a part of the team and, like, how good it would feel and nostalgic and da da and, like, how it would be a part of his heart. And it's like, okay, dude. Okay. Like, I mean, it makes sense. No That's the one, one place no he was one, truly no one, like. No one in Oklahoma City like thinks you're being genuine right now. Wow. Strange. Really? You guys don't like KD? You guys hate KD? You got a fucking kitty diddler on your team and you hate KD? That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, what come an MVP. On. You, I feel like y'all are fucking with me because you Bro, y'all know what he could have demanded a trade before once the team moved from. Whatever, okay, whatever. Seattle, oh, Denver, he could have demanded a trade. Yeah. Denver forgave Carmelo. Like, if Denver can forgive Carmelo, I'm, I'm not trying. Like, I'm shook it. Okay, let's. I don't even want to argue. Like, not even arguing who feels what or what what is justified or not. Because I'm blown away right now. I'm flabbergasted. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not arguing about what is what about the justification and all this. Point blank. Period. Oklahoma hates Kevin Durant. I could say that. I could say that with a hundred percent certainty. Oklahoma City fans fucking hate Kevin Durant. Oh, why? He is, he is referred to as Snake and Cupcake in Oklahoma City. I cannot believe y'all have not heard of that. No, why? I heard it. I heard it, and it didn't make any sense when I saw it in real time. I was like, he's your best player. You think you, you got to the MVP? finals because of Russ? You, you, you think you got to the championship because of Russ? Who kept... Man, who kept him in the... Man, don't fuck, don't fuck Durant, shit about Russ. No, I love Russ. He went to losing it. But I'm saying, like, Russ wasn't the reason y'all got to the NBA finals. Uh, mm. It was both of them. Harden, Harden off the bench was Harden a dynamic teams shit. couldn't Harden fuck with. Harden wasn't shit in Oklahoma City. Period. Yeah, but Jeff You Green said, I don't know basketball. She just said. I, no, 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 no. Not to say he wasn't shit. He just wasn't. He in got Oklahoma a contract City. on what he was doing he was. in OKC. He just, he just wasn't in Oklahoma City. He was balling. That's crazy work. That's why he they got needed a better. All that. They needed a better coach. I think if they don't have Scotty Brooks and they have a better coach. They got I Phil Jackson really coaching like, them. I just, I really, actually, really, really like Harden. I, I think if they had Doc Rivers, they wouldn't have choked. But all right, anyways, yeah. So Katie, I think that's, I think it'd be cool. But yeah, I don't, I didn't know that there was such disdain for him in How, the state of where, Oklahoma. Where, where I, hate, I, thought, I thought the hate where dropped. Y'all? No, where I thought the hate. Y'all? I thought the hate dropped. Bro, he left in free agency. He didn't demand a trade. He didn't fucking... He popped his Achilles. Y'all still hating on this man? His team found out that he was leaving via social media. I mean, that ain't his fault. Russell Westbrook, his teammate for how many years? Eight, nine years? Found out that Kevin Durant was leaving the the Thunder through social media. Well, if Russ didn't shoot the ball so fucking much, he would have had time to be a point guard. There's no no excuse. What he did was fucked up. Nah, he had the right to leave. No, we're not saying that. We're not saying. It was in the way. But how do you still hate him after all these years? It was the mode in which he left. He popped his Achilles. His career has never been the same since he got hurt. Where did Kevin Durant play basketball in college? Texas. Texas. And he's from where? Where, Where's he from? Maryland, D.C. area, right? No one gives a fuck about that. What I'm yeah, no, to... see, that's that's where you're wrong. You don't know D.C. people. That's why you're I mad live, at his decision. I lived in D.C., bro. I so how do you DC not understand people. D.C. people? This is like, that's fucking slow pitch across the I'm plate. talking about Oklahoma. But I'm saying because he's from D.C., you should have just seen that coming. As him being flaky? Yes. Yeah, like, I agree. You should have saw that people, coming. I He's mean, from D.C. People, people in He's D.C. are number two to L.A. for being fake. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that's that's wild. That's crazy. Because it's really down to towners who come to L.A. from, like, the fucking Midwest. I'm talking, like, Iowa Oh, no, I shit. agree with you on that. Like, the, I'm talking about, like, Iowa. They, they act the way that they think they need to in L.A. It's like, you're is, a fucking yeah. two, or you're a seven where I you're from. I agree with you on you that. Come, it's weird. It's mostly people who aren't from here who think they need to act that way. Above the Mason-Dixon line. Because it's usually right. not people from the South who do that. It's the, most right, the so Northerners people, who do that People shit. from the South stay themselves, I think. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so Cheers. Farafade, Angels, Anthony Rendon oh, said God. this week at spring training, 
He said, uh, baseball is just a job. He said, quote, it's never been a top priority. Fair or fair. Let me get this. I almost bit my knuckle off. Fuck this dude so much and inexplicably. Like, he needs backing up, though. Yeah. Like, like Gary, Fisher, Gary Sheffield said, you managed to say the most right and fair thing possible in the worst possible way. Which, by the way, Gary Sheffield now being in the Hall of Fame is total bullshit. One dude from that area who didn't fucking cheat and he can't get in. But whatever. Um, Anthony Rendon has played so few games for the Angels. What was it? He was with the Indians before, right? And then signed that fat ass contract. And he's paid like 150 out of like 300. And- Bro, it's like a $375 million contract or some shit. Dude has done, dude has played less than Mike Trout. And when he does play, he's ass. Mike Trout is willing to retire an angel when he could have easily forced his way to fucking L.A. with Otani. Like, oh, had, the Yankees. Nah, he could have forced his way to, to L.A. He, was, he wouldn't he, have been able to force his way to the Dodgers, but he could have forced his way to the The Yankees. Dodgers would have given up their whole farm system, but they're not going to do that. But, like, in baseball terminology, like, they could have they could have got Trout and Otani before the injury deadline. They were ne- The Dodgers were never going to get Trout, bro. Could've. It's always been the. It's you just have to Yankees. cough up a shit ton of money. It's always been the Yankees and the Angels for Trout. You just have to cough up a shit ton of money to do it. But in baseball, there's no salary cap, and the, the Dodgers Anyways, not going to do that. But anyway, ahead, Rendon's a piece of shit because um, it's like, bro, you're not even good, and you're just getting paid all this money to not be good. Like, if there's anybody who should give some of their salary back, it's you. This is worse than the Kevin Brown trade when Kevin Brown was on the Yankees all those years ago. Like, I've seen bum-ass free agent contracts go bad, but holy shit, this might be top five. Like, this makes me forgive the Albert Pujols contract with the Angels. Like, Rendon this is... This reminds me of Josh Hamilton. This is honest. worse than Josh Hamilton. At least that motherfucker was smoking crack and had Jason. light. He had demons. Like, this motherfucker Rendon just got hurt and Did then he? sucked. I didn't know Josh. Josh Hamilton was, was smoking crack, bro. He was on fucking that. drugs. He I was didn't know that. he was out of here. He was almost out of here a couple times. Like it was bad for Josh Hamilton, and he managed to have a somewhat decent career with the uh, with the Angels. He didn't go out all bad, but yeah, fuck Anthony Rendon. This is why this is why I'm glad I'm not an Angels fan anymore. I've I been switch sides. Nah, fuck that. Oh, Once they didn't trade Otani and they got the nothing. No, nah, I just said fuck it. I'm, I'm halfway in with the Dodgers anyway. Half my favorite players are Dodgers. Nah, nope. You can't. Nope. I'm a, first off, I've been an Angels fan since 1998. The Angels, the Angels of Anaheim. Yes, I've been. been a, an I was Angels, Angels fan. You've been an Angels, the Angels of Anaheim. I forgave fan. them for firing Mike Sosha unfairly. I forgave them for ruining fucking. Rip Mike Sosha. Uh, he's alive though. <laughs> well, I meant on the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fucking what's his name? The the pitcher that they had. Um. The younger Jeff Weaver, the better brother. No, Jared Weaver. Yeah, Jared Weaver was the better brother, better pitcher. The younger brother, though, they wasted his whole career. So it's like you just let Otani walk, and you got this fucking guy on the team saying this dumb shit out of his mouth. Yeah, I'm fucking over Anthony Rendon. The Angels deserve the fucking purgatory of losing. But yeah, that's fake. Get. Um, all right, so the Clippers head coach, Tyrone I don't even Lowe, care if it's fake. I'm glad. Fuck was uh, fined 35K for questioning the integrity of the game officials. Fair fade. I mean, it's not a Clippers season storyline if they're not checking the refs. Let's just be real. When does the Clippers not have a reason? To have, when does the Clippers not have a legitimate gripe to question the refs? Win, lose, or draw. All right, so I'll start with my rant. Um. First off, man, just want to say it's been a it's finally starting to feel like a normal week. Like all the dust from all the travel is finally kind of like settled, like starting to get things more squared away and back in my routines, which has been pretty cool. Um, Outside of that, man, just looking forward to getting my brother drive in. Looking forward to. All the great things we have ensued with this uh, podcast. And, uh, yeah, man, that's it. Kenny? I mean, it was a great week. Um, oh, yeah, happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. My birthday was Monday, February 19th. I'm officially 32. And uh, according to all my family members, I'm old as fuck. 
um, friends, some coworkers, they just all just said, hey, happy birthday, Kenny. You're old as fuck. So, yeah, plus I already have, like, gray hairs on the side of my head. I just accepted that. But mostly, like, I got to kick it with my family, went out to eat. It was pouring down raining, so I didn't feel like really going anywhere else. And the thing I was going to do that night, two of my friends were like, hey, let's just wait till Saturday. I'm like, cool. So, um, just got to reflect on my life and shit and the things I've done and what I'm happy about and shit I've overcome, trauma I've let go. Uh, and I, it still trips me out. Like, I, like me and my mom died during child labor. Like, I died first and then she died second, but she came back first. But, like, uh, I was dead for, like, two minutes, 45 seconds. And it's like, I've had a couple of death experiences since then. And I'm just like, it's the reason I'm here. So I'm just thankful for another year. I didn't really feel the need to do some rah-rah shit on my birthday. Just being with family, like seeing my nephew, who is fast as shit, by the way. Like he's going to be three in May. He took off running through the mall doors to like jump into my arms And, like, honestly, if I could just bottle that feeling and give that to people, like, that's, like, just the greatest feeling I've I've ever had. It's just, like, my nephew seeing me and his whole fucking demeanor changes. Like, he just smiles the biggest smile and just takes off running full speed in my arms. It don't matter what he's doing. He'll slap his mom in the face just to get out of her arms and then take off running full speed towards me. And, like, that shit... That, like, just fulfills me in ways that I can't really explain. But, yeah. Thankful for the family. Thankful for all the people who told me happy birthday. All that good stuff. Glad to be here another year. Because, I mean, shit, that BT Alternative. I know a bunch of people who didn't make it. I'm talking about, like, for my first grade picture, I can look and see, like, yeah, this person didn't make it. So, thankful I'm still here. Thankful, you know, for all y'all. Appreciate you. And, yeah, um... You're going to hear a lot of stuff during combine time. Just know me and Pete probably interviewed those people first. And we had to sit back and wait for some asshole who needed their handheld to interview a guy and probably give bad questions anyway. And they'll probably use some of our audio and not give us credit. But it is what it is. Life of an independent journalist. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay, to close out the show. Uh, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks for me personally too. Uh, uh I've been um, it's been an exhausting two weeks, I suppose. Um, I don't know why y'all didn't tell me I had these nasty ass bags under my eyes. I went to the bathroom just now. My bags can pay fucking taxes, Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> have mercy. Uh, He's out here judging me like that. <laughs> um. Oh my God, Nikki, you look like shit. <laughs> That's wild to think. Yeah, that might be something blood. I need to hear. Shit, man. Pull, my, pull, my, pull yourself together. But, um, You've done a good enough job of that. We don't need to. We don't need to pile on top. Yeah, I mean, I, y'all haven't seen me in, in a few weeks or whatever, but um, this I definitely this is the how do I say most positive my attitude has been definitely those these two weeks appreciate y'all uh but anywho um work sucks right now because i was gone and so i'm catching up on a bunch of shit and also it's getting busier again because we have a bunch of events coming up um so i'm kind of just like playing catch-up mode and then my boss is on my ass for my labor at the same time and i'm like literally what the fuck do you want me to do besides work like I can just not come to work and save you the labor, and then you can be behind on everything. Um, or I can come in and do my job, and you be out a couple hundred bucks. So, I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah, we have a – we have found out we, we Messi might be coming to the Coliseum here in a few weeks, so that might be pretty cool. Uh, catch us on March – Tuesday, March 26th, Argentina versus Nigeria. Um uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.
All right. Well, this is Touch House of Tangents. Touchhouseattangents.com. TDs underscore tangents on Instagram and Twitter. Shout out to What's up? Shout out to everyone. We're out. Peace. Peace. Peace.